Good evening, nice to see you. Maria, how are you? How are you? Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Uh huh. So, how was your mini vacation? <laughs> I'm really happy because I see that we only had uh, one week, and you know, sometimes you don't know with with uh, with Insoforp and with the program, but I'm glad that everybody put in the documents on time and everybody finished the platform without any problems. So, I think this is what helped a lot to mm -hmm. to begin quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, 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 it's true. And this one will last four weeks or or five? Four weeks, also four weeks. But I think they made, um, we have a couple of new people. They mix the groups because it's not only the same from the last class. It's not the same people uh -huh. from the last one. Some people, yes. Some people, no. Okay. For example, I, I can see um, Oscar and Carolina. Um, I believe they are new. I don't remember Oscar and Carolina in our last group. Yeah, I'm new. Okay. Nice to meet you, everybody. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That it's great to have new people. It makes it more interesting, more exciting. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hope so. It is. It it helps a lot because it, it gives more interaction. Because now you don't you're you're asking questions and you're getting more fluency, but you don't know the people. So that's the idea to get to get to know each other. Okay. Great. Great. We're just going to wait just a, a moment longer because, of course, it's our first day and we do have some new people coming in. But um, I don't know. We have a, a few that I, I know, a few that, I, uh, that we don't know. So we'll start off with some introductions. I'll begin with myself, a little bit about myself. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, my name is Edwin Cubillas and I have been working for Inglés Cooperativo since uh, last year. Um, I also work at other institutions and I work uh, for NGOs and private classes and USA doing interpretation and translations. Um, obviously during this, <laughs> during this pandemic, I think we're all working from home or at least the majority. So most of my work this year has been working from home. Um, I am also studying at the university. I'm studying a, an, another degree. I already have one uh, for liberal arts, but I'm also studying for business administration. I'm going to get my business administration degree next year. I should be graduating around May or June. I should be finishing my studies for my associates. Um, and then we'll see, you know, maybe continue start my business or not. Uh, I already have my business, but we'll we'll see if I can expand it. Um, I love gardening. I love cooking. Um, you know, uh, I enjoy uh, cooking. I usually cook, you know, once or twice a day. I usually try to cook. Um, it's very, maybe it's a little sexist, but I don't like my wife to go to the market or to the supermarket. I am the one who goes. I don't like her to go shopping because, because no, I don't, <laughs> I don't because I'm the one who's cooking. So I feel like if I'm cooking, I should be the one to pick the food, the vegetables, the, the things, because it's going to be me. But also I, I like to garden a lot and I'm lucky that uh, we have some space for gardening. So we have um, a variety, a large variety of, of plants and fruits and uh, trees. We have, um, I have grown everything from watermelon to carrots to radishes to peppers to jalapenos to uh, nances, coconuts, grapes, oh, okay. um, oranges, mangoes. Uh, All cinnamon. of those in your backyard. Um, more or less, we have a little a little property outside of the city, so it's not it's not big. It's not like you know it's not even a manzana or, or, or you know it's nothing you know like some people. But um, I did study I um, I did study a little bit of agriculture, so I do know that you you grow it. It's just like a business. It's a plan, and it goes according to the position of the sun, and depending on where the position of the sun is or how it goes, is how I can grow more things for my personal garden because uh, I can have, uh, the sun is coming from here to here. I can have the high, the high trees here because then in the afternoon or after midday, the, all of the smaller trees, all the smaller plants continue to receive the sun as well as the large ones. And I can have even more than normally for many things. 
and and I also know for the the different types of uh, roots because there are some trees that they go very deep, but there are other trees that expand. So the ones that expand, I know that I can't have. I can have other plants, but the other plants need to have roots that go deep, and the ones that go deep, I need to have roots that expand. So I try to mix the variety of different plants and things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It is. So, and I hope to continue. Um, I know some of you know I haven't been. I I just got my computer fixed, so I should be hopefully be able to upload some more videos um, for my YouTube channel for my gardening. That one's in Spanish, and you know, it's I I have a lot of projects. You know, university classes, working, um, studying. I I enjoy a lot, and I'm writing my book as well. So quite a bit of things. You have a lot of energy. <laughs> I do. I usually do. I usually, you know, I usually go to bed around 11, 12 o'clock and I'm up at five, six in the morning every day. So I try mm -hmm. to use my time, most of it. I'm already tired just to listen to the half of the things you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Five a. laughs> no, because, you know, for me, I enjoy it. I enjoy teaching. I enjoy gardening. I enjoy cooking. So like, you know, what I don't enjoy is cleaning. So mm. I, I don't wash dishes. It's, it's a little, I don't, my children do because they eat. So I tell them, if you want to eat, you need to wash dishes. So they don't have to cook, but they wash dishes, <laughs> things like that. Okay. Now this is similar of what we're going to do right now. Um, I give you an example about me. So we're going to form our, our smaller groups and we're going to try to get, hopefully we'll get a few more people in a few minutes. But if not, um, at least we get an idea to uh, get to know each other and introduce uh, ourselves to each other. And the important is not only for the partner to speak, but ask follow-up questions. What are those follow-up questions? Those follow-up questions are what we consider WH questions. They're questions that go like, what, where, uh, why, you know? So it's not just like a yes, no, or do, does kind of questions. It's, for example, uh, what do you like to cook? Or where do you, uh, where do you work? Or uh, how many people are, work with you? Or things like this. How long have you been? The different types of questions. So any, any question that requires the person to give a complete answer, this is what we call like information questions. These are the follow-up questions. Okay. Are you guys ready? We're going to make a few groups. And like I said, don't worry about, don't worry about the platform or how it works or any of that. We're going to do that in a little bit. But the first thing is, let's try to, we're going to be together for four weeks. So it's good to get to know each other. It's good to learn a little bit about each other, what we do, what we don't do, what we like, we don't like, things like this. Okay. Before we begin, is there, is there anybody who has never used or has never been in the platform before? Because this always happens and sometimes you have problems uh, making the groups. Is this, is this the first time for anybody? Me, I'm you. Yeah, for me too. Yes, okay. first time. Yeah, okay, first. okay, all right, all right. Well then let me explain a little bit about where it's going, you're going to, when we talk about small groups is you're going to receive a little invitation in the same in here in the zoom and this you have to accept it when you accept it then you will go to another zoom okay but in this zoom will be smaller it will only be you and two other people or you know uh, one other person really depending on the groups yeah depends it depends on how many people we have in the class it, we try to maintain okay. the groups we try to keep the groups uh about three or four people maximum and the reason is because if you have more than three or four people, it's really difficult to have the opportunity to practice your fluency and practice your speaking. So we try to make sure that the groups are usually, you know, three, maybe four, and whenever possible, only two, because that gives even more chance for speaking. Okay. So, okay. so the first thing that's going to happen is we are going to, I'm going to send you a small invitation you accept the invitation and then you will be able to join the group. In that group, all you're going to do is just introduce yourself. What do you like? What you don't like? What are your hobbies? What do you enjoy? A little bit about your name or your background or anything that you like. 
whatever you want to share. For example, like Carolina Galvez, she can tell us why she's so happy at 8, 10 at night because look at her. She's smiling and she can't stop laughing and she's looking at us and she's like, oh, I had a great day. Today I went to the supermarket and I bought a ticket and I won Lothin, I won $2. Woohoo! And I'm happy. I don't know. But maybe for this, right? <laughs> Something like that. Okay. Or we can say, okay. yeah, whatever. The idea is just to get to talk. What is the focus? What is the objective? Is working on fluency and working on asking follow-up questions. So when depending the information your partner gives you, that's what you need to ask for, right? If your partner says, okay, um, this is my first time, oh, then you have a lot of questions. Why, why did you start? Or how did you learn about it? Or, you know, mm -hmm. the same thing. If it's not the first time, oh, how long have you been studying? Do you like the program? You don't like the program? You know, if, if you want to talk about your personal life, I have children. Oh, great. How many children? If, whatever you want to share, that's what your partner is going to follow up the questions with. So if you don't share, your partner probably doesn't know about it, right? If you don't say, I'm married with four children, well, then we don't know Eric is married with four children. Mary, maybe Eric is not married, but has four children. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good one. Yeah. I'm married, but I don't have children. <laughs> hey, hey, Eric, okay, no children. Enjoying the good life, okay. When yep. you, Believe me, when you have children, ha, ah, the stress yeah, begins. Life the changes. Stress, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When before my children, I used to have hair like Oscar. You see Oscar? I used to have hair like Oscar. After the children, before the children, after the children, and before. That's what happens. Okay, I don't have children, but I'm start losing my hair as well. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's it let's let's just start to get the introduction make sure that we get a little bit i give us about 15 minutes for us to get to know each other and that should be more than enough time for the people that are late for the people that are having technical problems or something to join the class and then we can come back to the main group and i will explain how the platform works i will explain what is the objectives and how to use it and what are your responsibilities and things like that okay but right mm -hmm. now don't worry about it. Right now, it's just talking, just having a good conversation, catching up with someone. Okay. Did everybody receive the invitation? Yes. Yes. Okay. So remember, accept it. That way, you can join the group. Hey, Luis, you having any problems? Everything okay? Yeah. How is it going? Can you hear me? Yes, but not very well. So, can you tell us about yourself? Uh, about uh, right. Uh, what can I say? Let me see. Then, right now, I might have a job. I work at the airport and uh, as an air traffic controller, you know, maybe you awesome. have heard about, about that career. And uh, let's see, uh, I studied at Don Bosco University and I like to play music, to go surfing, and also to, to sing a little bit. That sounds really interesting. Uh, when do you started to work as a air controller? I think did you say that? 
Yeah, I started two years ago. All the time. It was a difficult day for me. Mm. I don't feel well. Yeah, you sound like a little exhausted. Yeah. And when I arrived at the home, I had to take the homework to my children. Uh -huh. Because these days are the last yeah it's right week for them yes any yeah they for me <laughs> because i have to work all day and mm -hmm. after the work i have to to come and check homework for my three children so it's a hard work for me <laughs> yeah but your children uh must be <laughs> really excited to finish yeah finishing school but I am more than them, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. And yeah. your kids are, are, what else can I do? Um, I'm a physiotherapy and occupational, an occupational therapy student at University of El Salvador. And, nice, um, nice. Yeah, uh, actually. I studied I, there. Really? Uh, yeah. NASA? No, no, no. Um, University US. of El Salvador, US. Ah, yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, and I actually I'm I'm working on my thesis. Okay, that's nice. So I'm a little bit closer uh, to be uh, to get my uh, your degree. My degree career, yeah. That's nice. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's hear about yeah. what Caroline has to say about her life. Yes. Tell no, what do you I, for living? Uh, in our school, the English is a serious thing. So they divide yeah. the book according to advanced or, or slower or something. And they are all the time mixing and, and making the type of exams so nice. Sometimes I was taking the exams of the same students just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I say, okay, let me do the, in the, the to the teachers. I said, let me do the, yeah. your exam, and then they say, yeah, yes, yeah, do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> but the, do you do you think that this way of of teaching it's uh, like that using the uh, smartphone and using video conference or video calls uh, are are really good for students, or isn't it? Well, I think that they can be a little more distracted when they are using the mm. phones. Okay. So, in, in uh, another advertisement from Instagram, no, from Facebook, I I saw this post that Instafort was providing some scholarship for people who work and from, for people who don't work. Okay, and uh, this is so interesting. Your job? No, no, no. I, I don't work. <laughs> I don't have. A, I don't have a job. I was ah. looking for. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. I understand. Yes. Okay, but your English is so good. Mm, I don't consider that. <laughs> I think I need to. I, I mean. There's a difference between the pronunciation for me and the fluency, and so maybe I can be, I can have that, like that picture that my pronunciation is good, but mm -hmm. I need to practice more my fluency, some phrasal verbs. Okay, in some moment I I, pensar in past teacher. I I thought. What? Thought. <laughs> Thought. <laughs> I don't hear teacher. Hi teacher. No, we can hear you. Yes, I don't hear. You you can't hear me. Yeah. Okay. No, yes, we teacher. can. Sorry, sorry, I didn't realize that. Yes, yes. Thought. <laughs> okay, se pronuncia thought. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. in, uh, in one moment, I thought uh, you work. You work for for From a call, call center. center. Ah, yeah, yeah. 
You know, I was looking to work for them, but yeah, yeah, yeah. in the in, in the interviews, they they told me that I have a good vocabulary and a good pronunciation, but that I need to improve is my my fluency. Okay, good, good, good. So I yeah, uh, actually I yeah for um, uh, final, 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 final company. Ah. Yes, when Financial. you when you want some money, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I will. I will take that. It's very cheap. It's very cheap. The interest, inter, interest, very cheap. Oh, okay. El interés es muy barato. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and which company yes. do, you, uh, do you work? Ah, uh, I work for Caja de Crédito de Huayua. I. Um, that's a benefit of the company. There are another benefits like. Um, not just me as a dentist, there are also medical doctors, there's a nutrition, there's a, um, a, like a little supermarket, we call them dispensa. Um, what else? There's a, a, like a sport area in Antiguo Cuscatlan. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of benefits. Yeah, there are good benefits for the, for the employees there. Um, people who works in the government says that Anda is the one of the of the companies or of the um, arms from the government that has more good benefits. Most of them are the um, institutions that are like that they have their own autonomy or in the, in, the, in the case of ANDA, it's like semi-autonomy. Mm, interesting. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. And what is not nice is when they talk about politics. But, mm. but the company yeah. is, is, is a nice company. Excellent. So that's like part of my... I didn't know anything. Right. Try to enter in a call center. I have tried just once, but they told me that I, that I have to improve my final sounds because they are not so good. And also my um, past tense verbs and the, those which finish with ED. And also, you know, my fluency. I see. Uh, maybe it can give you a recommendation. And, but I have a, a bad story about it because, like, <laughs> I the first time I didn't know how they work, right? So my uh, sister you, you told put, me. You put the, the injection? No, not, no uh -huh. not myself, of course. I'm, I'm too weak for that. No, I, <laughs> I went to the to the pharmacy and they put me, but uh, I, I, I went out of. of of my workplace and I was feeling really bad. It was more than two weeks and my sister uh, told me that uh, I could have the injections and I went to the pharmacy and they put me like, it was uh, at noon and then I had to go to, to the downtown to buy some stuff. <laughs> and then I felt, I felt really, really horrible because the injections have some, I don't know, the, the medicine you have to sleep so they work better. Yeah. So they have, uh -huh. have they hacen dormir? I don't know. Uh -huh. They make they, you feel they sleepy. sleepy. Uh -huh. Yeah, they make you feel sleepy. It was, um, uh, I don't know, uh, it was like concealed. The therapies were concealed. And okay. with my friends, we didn't have uh, the opportunity to practice anymore. To more. practice. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, this is a little bit complicated, the situation, but here we are. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know about, more about me. I love taking pictures. Um, I love listening to music. Uh, what else? I don't like to cook, uh, <laughs> but I have to. <laughs> okay. And what else? 
um, I like taking videos too and editing. I don't know. I, I really like Do you have a boyfriend? Uh, no, I'm single. <laughs> Are you single? Okay. Stay there. Yeah. Stay there. You're in a good position. <laughs> You're in a good place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy life. <laughs> Thanks God my wife is in the other room studying English mm -hmm. as well. So she has his headphones. So don't worry. We can talk about whatever you want. I can talk about her. <laughs> I'm okay. just with my daughter, so any problem. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's nice. Okay, nice. That's yeah. nice. It's been you a pleasure to meet you, you girls. Like. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Same, I still meet you too. Same, Stephanie. With 37. Uh, yes, then is another one with 32. Then the another one is 30, mm -hmm. and the youngest is 20. <laughs> oh, the 20. Oh well. Well, all I of them are. Been, are I have been busy a, for for a bunch of years. <laughs> I I think so. Yeah, I think so. I admire you. <laughs> I admire you. I'm sorry because it, it is in, it is something that I think it's difficult. But four children and those yeah. ages. <laughs> yeah, I think. Well, uh, yeah, I think so. Well, I think we are in class <laughs> with a teacher. My teacher. Where is our, where is where is our friend? Where did she go? I'm I'm where just looking, <clears throat> I'm just looking at Dana because, uh, Dana. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. because I see Dana is like ah okay, it looks like Dana's driving. I'm like Dana, you don't don't attend class and drive. I I I, I, I uh, the first I see, impression that we the first impression that we have that she was in an airplane <laughs> or something like this. Yeah, yeah, like. Uh -huh. <laughs> You see all yeah, these because, lights because of the lights in the environment, you know. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, Dana, are you finishing work right now, or or what's uh, is this a normal time for you? You're stuck in traffic, or what? No. No, uh, my little girl uh, was in dance classes, and he, and she finished at eight. But I'm going to to. Organize, <laughs> organize, organize, organize my time for the next class. <laughs> no, no problem, no problem. Is I'm glad you can join us. Don't worry, it's good. And what does your daughter? Um, what does she dance? Is it ballet or you know what? What, what kind of music? Hip hop or what? <laughs> it's it's the connection. Okay, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. I, I only ask, what does she dance? What kind of music does she dance or what kind of school? She dance hip hop and twerk. <laughs> okay, okay. And where is the school? Is the school in, I don't know, San Salvador, in Santa Tecla, La Santa Ana, I don't know. Where where is the school, Dana? Antigua Cuscatlán. Okay, Antigua Cuscatlán. So that's probably Billy Grimaldi. No, no, no. New oh. school. No, she 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 was in 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 Billy's academy, but right now it's in another academy. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, because always when the people say Antiguo Cuscatlan, the first that they say, ah, Billy Grimaldi, Billy Grimaldi, yeah. <laughs> uh, there is her first academy, but she changed uh, um, for three years ago. <laughs> okay, okay, great. All right, now we're going to go back to the big group. So we're going to go back, and I think we have a lot more people now. Okay. Okay, let's see. okay, teacher, we're back. Yeah, we're just waiting for everybody to connect. It'll just be okay. one one second. Okay. Teacher, I'm sorry, I I got in like a little bit late, so I didn't hear your name. Oh, my name is Edwin. Kubis. Edwin? Yes, Edwin. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Nice to meet you, Edwin. Nice to meet you guys, too. Okay, thanks. Okay. 
there we go. I think just a few seconds. It always takes 13 seconds and then we'll be able to continue. Well, I'm glad everybody had a chance to speak and get to know each other and some know some of you are uh, ex-classmates and some of you are new and that's always good. That's always uh, exciting. Okay. Now I'm going to share my screen with you so that we have an idea of what we're going to be doing and how it works. Okay. So the idea is we have Okay, there we go. I think everybody should be able to see my screen. Can you see my screen or no? Not yet. No, yeah. Not yet. All right, let me try it one more time. No, yet. All right, let's try it just one more time. I don't, I'm not sure what happened, but. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Ready. Yes. All right. Perfect. Okay. Well, this is pretty much similar to what you're going to see in yours. Um, the only thing that's going to be different will be at the top. It's going to, instead of saying staff, it'll be uh, learner. Okay. That's, that's going to be the, really much the, the, the big difference. And then some of the other things that you won't have access to, but all of these you will. So we are, everybody, this is, uh, advanced English. That's why everything is in, in English. Um, but if you don't understand when I'm speaking or you're not clear, just ask. That's, that's why we're here. So if you're not sure or there's a word that I use or an expression that I use and you, you want me to repeat it or you want me to explain what it means, only ask and there's no problem. Okay. okay. We have four sections and the idea is we have four weeks. So in theory, we should be finishing uh, one section per week, okay? It's in reality, we need to finish them just a little bit more, um, a little bit faster than one section per week. And the reason is, is because there are exams, there are reviews, there are different things that we need to make sure that we cover. So because of that, we will be finishing just a little bit more um, than one section per week, okay? Uh, in each section, in all of the entire time, for those that are new, um, you can always review your progress just by going here. Okay, so at the top, you're gonna have course, discussion, and progress. If you click on progress, it will tell you your grade, okay? It will tell you what activities you have done, it will tell you uh, which ones you have to do as an obligation, and then it goes section by section, okay? So for example, this week we have section one, and I can see that for section one, I have many different activities that I need to get. There are one, two, three, four, five activities, okay? And there's one, and there's different homeworks that are also up here. Now, we have a minimum grade. That minimum grade is 80. So you have to get 80 in average in order to be able to get your diploma and pass. So in reality, it's, it's very easy to get the 80 because you have the option that if you don't get an 80 the first time on the exercise or the activity, you can do again. So you can repeat the activity. So imagine in one activity I get a, I, I have a 50. <gasps> That's not good. Now, I can leave it because if I want, but it's not a good idea to leave it. The reason is because maybe the next time you need those extra points, okay? So I always recommend that try to do it. And if you have a bad grade, do it again. It's not a problem. Okay. As far as the sections, each of them have what they're talking about. Okay. So each one will have the lesson objectives. Each will talk, have a knowledge check, exercises, all of these different things. The best way to use the platform is by reviewing the platform before the class. This is because it saves you a lot of time. It really helps you. If you are just, you know, if you have a moment to review, to have an idea, this is great because that way when you come to the class, you already have questions. You already know what you want to ask. So for example, here it says, at the end of the class, participants will be able to use the verbs followed by gerunds and infinitives. So maybe you can do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can yeah. do it, but you're not sure what it means. You're not sure grammatically what is the name, a gerund or infinitive. So 
you know, when you come to class, you can say, hey, I have a question. What, are, what is a verb? What, what's a, what is a gerund? What is an infinitive? Okay. Ah, okay. And then it's easy because then we can easily explain to you. And it's easier for you to make sure instead of trying to come up with a question at the same moment. Okay. Um, we will try to maintain and do exercises, but the most important is really... Mucho, la no te pase. Mm -hmm. the, the most important <laughs> is that you have, uh, that you do the platform. If you come to class or if you don't come to class, it's, if you come to class, it's great. You have an opportunity to practice listening and speaking and see some of the grammar tips and some of the things that I can help you with. But it's not going to be graded. The grades come from the platform. In the platform, you need to do all of the exercises and you need to get an 80 or better. Okay, this is an average 80 or better in the assignments, the activities, the midterm, and the final exam. Okay, I don't know if there are any questions about the platform or any questions about uh, what, what are the grades that you need or anything like this. Me? Yes, yes teacher. I'm sorry, sorry. Let's start with Oscar and then Eric. Go ahead, Oscar. Uh, so, for example, after this class, uh, I just want to be on 1.1 1 .1, uh, um, platform. I cannot, I cannot make 1.2 platform or 1.3. Yes, you can. I, I, need, I need to go next to you. No, no, no. You should go more than me. Oh, more okay. Than, the idea is you should go more than me because in here is you have the opportunity to use it. You have the opportunity to practice it by speaking or uh, interacting. Okay, so Thanks. if so, if you go into, for example, let's say you go to 1.4, and then you have difficulty, that's perfect because tomorrow, at the beginning, you already know what you already have an idea. Hey, I need how to solve this. I need to know what I did wrong. For example. Cool. Okay. You're welcome, Eric. You had a question. Uh, yeah, this, uh, precisely something like that happened to me today. Because I was trying to, to finish um, the section, let me see. After the video, there's, there's a, like a practicing, a writing, writing exam or something like that. And the th thing is, I think that I, di I, did, it I did it right. But is this, is by the time I go to, yeah, that's the one that okay. I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, but by the time that I valued, uh, it appears me to be wrong and I don't know what I, I don't know what did I do wrong. Okay. Is there any recommendation or any tip that you have to give yes. us? To yes, there mm -hmm. is. And we've had this um, we, uh, with, our, with the previous students. One thing mm -hmm. that we realized in the platform is the platform is very, very specific. Is very technical so you need to write it correctly so for example if you have two spaces it's wrong if you use the wrong type of apostrophe it's incorrect and this is very common in in when you're writing because we tend to use you see here it's the word can't yeah. but when you write it sometimes people use a different uh, a different one and the computer takes it and not like an apostrophe but like a tilde and that's why okay. it's marked wrong. So there's, we, we've had the experience in the previous lessons where you need to first in your computer identify that you're using correctly the apostrophe. That's, that's usually the number one mistake many times. Okay. okay. The other is that you need to make sure that, uh, uh, as an example, in here it says, Sam can't stand the space and a period, right? So <laughs> usually, if the space has a period, you do not put it in your answer because if you put it in your answer, it's going to be incorrect because okay. already it has a period. So it's going to be two mm -hmm. times the period. That's what we mean by the platform is very technical that um, in many times you, you need to have the correct spelling, the correct letter. If it's capital, it has to be capital. If you put the answer correctly, but it's a, a lower case, it's going to be marked wrong. If you put the answer correctly, but you didn't put the period for the ones that need it, it's going to be marked wrong. If you wrote it, but you put a period 
uh, or uh, and and it already has one, it's going to be marked wrong. So many times it's this little. It's not that your answer is wrong, but it's the technical things that you need to put into the platform that make it wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I'm gonna try tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah or yeah. later on, probably. Yeah. Try later on, and sometimes it's just these little things. And remember to always read the instructions because. Even though the exercise is the same, it's not the same thing that you they're asking you. So sometimes they're asking you to, for example, here it says separate both answers using uh, a, a slash. So that means that you have to write two answers. If there are two possible answers, you need to write both of them. If you only write one, it's going to be marked wrong. Okay. Is there a, a like a because sometimes you have the chance to to know what's the the right question, the the right answer. Sorry, but uh, I think there is no that possibility in this program, right? In this platform. No, you don't. You don't have to. You, they don't tell you what is the right what until you, uh, they only tell you what is wrong. Okay. So, so okay. if you nice. let, Let's say that you do number, uh, you do all of them, and number one is correct. It's going to identify number one is correct, and it's going to identify the others are wrong. But it's not going to give you the answer. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. And the reason it doesn't give you the answer is because you are allowed to go again and do it. And the idea is that you do it to get at least an 80 or better. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. oh, I got it. Okay, good. Does anybody else have any other questions? Oops, so big this, I need to get another mouse. This one is getting way out of hand. <laughs> no, no other questions then? Not yet, okay. give us the time. Yeah, 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 no problem, no problem. After you do, Lupita, did you have a question? I see you raising your hand. Don't, you just go ahead, put, Put on mute, no problem. No, no, it wasn't a question, it was a sankudo. Ah, okay. <laughs> but the same idea, right? Me, 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 me. me. And, and I was thinking, but. Okay, oh, be careful with the flies, Lupita. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was a mosquito. Yeah, that's good. That's good, though. That, that's the first time for everything. Okay. Great. Okay. Well, as you can see, the idea for today is the difference between a gerund and an infinitive. Before we watch the video, does anybody have an idea what is the difference or what is a gerund, what is an infinitive? Gerund is a verb in ing form and an infinitive is a verb preceded by two. Okay, exactly, that's right. So whenever we have two and the verb, that's the infinitive. Whenever we have the verb with ing, that's the gerund, okay? So as an example, eating is a gerund. To eat is the infinitive. It's not that one is correct and the other is incorrect. It depends for the situations. And each situation is different. And that's when we decide when to use gerunds and when to use infinitives, okay? We're gonna watch a small video in this moment about verbs followed by gerunds, okay? If you have any questions at the end of the video, just let me know. Can everybody see it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. If, let me know if you can't hear it. You should be able to hear it, but it's always the first days there might be technical problems. We want to officially welcome you to our advanced level. Our main goal in this course is for you to speak more, to convey ideas. So we ask you to participate not only in class with your teacher, but also participating on our discussion box. Can you hear it? Is the volume okay? Yeah, it's yes. okay. Yes, yeah, it's okay. okay. It's good. Okay, good. We wish you luck in this process. Hi, before you watch our video about verbs followed by gerund, I want you to work on two previous activities. Number one, complete the survey. Number two, tell us about yourself. How do you describe yourself? You may share your answers with a partner in class as well as in our discussion box. You may use these adjectives as well as these useful expressions.
Now we're ready to study our topic, but before you go and watch the video, I want to tell you that I enjoy teaching. Share with us something you enjoy doing before you watch the explanation, and let's see if you know how to do it. Jaron always follows these verbs. I enjoy meeting unusual people. I dislike spending a lot of time by myself. I don't mind waiting for people. I avoid talking on the phone. An infinitive with gerund can follow these verbs. I like going to parties. I like to go to parties. I love watching movies alone. I love to watch movies alone. I hate waiting for people. I hate to wait for people. I can't stand staying home alone. I can't stand to stay home alone. A gerund is often the object of a preposition. I'm interested in meeting unusual people. Remember that gerunds are verb forms ending in ing. Gerunds after verbs. Common verbs followed by gerunds are finish, give up, can help, imagine, don't mind, keep, miss, and suggest. Other ways to use gerunds. A gerund is often the object of a preposition. Finally, we have infinitives and gerunds after verbs. Some verbs can be followed only by gerunds, some only by infinitives, and some by either. Gerunds only. Avoid, dislike, enjoy, finish, mention. Infinitives only. Only, agree, hope, intend, learn, plan, promise. Either gerund or infinitive. Begin, continue, like. Remember, we have just given you some examples of the verbs that you may use with gerunds, infinitives, or both. How do you feel about these things? Discuss your answers using verbs or expressions followed by infinitives or gerunds. Number one, listen to people's problems. Number two, go to places where you have to use your English. We want to officially welcome you to Okay. So, what is the main idea and how can this help us with our English? Well, there are specific words, and this is what they're talking about towards the end, about words that can only be followed with ing, and other words that can only be followed with infinitives, okay? Those words are usually having to do with the emotions or specific ones. So. Hang on, don't know why it's getting so weird. Okay, let me put, there we go. So at the end we saw they gave us a list of words and those words were like enjoy, dislike, or like, those are because those words we have specific usage for. So when you talk about them, when you use them, we're gonna use them specifically for either ing, like I like dancing, um, or we can say, for example, I agree to dance, which is the list with the infinitives. Okay. Now, not, not all of them are only one form. There's also some of the verbs that can be used in two forms, that they can be used with ing or without. Yeah. Let me make sure we got this. Okay, so here we have gerunds only. So that means that if I use these words in my sentence, I am going to have ing. So not this word. This word is not going to be ing. Is the next word is going to be ing. For example, I avoid washing dishes. I dislike uh, working on Sundays. I enjoy playing soccer. I finish watching a movie. I mention listening to music. These are words that are followed with ing. That's what we're referring to with gerunds. Okay. So we're talking like yes. Uh, what's the meaning of mention in this context? Uh, the word mention is to say or to talk about. Enjoy, finish, mention. So 
you are, I don't know, you are discussing with someone and you are giving the reasons for something. This is mentioned, okay? So why are you still welcome? Mm -hmm. Infinitive only. Here, in this case, where it says infinitive only, we are talking about the words that go after these are with two, okay? Uh, I work only to pay bills, okay? I agree to help my friends. I hope to learn a new language. I intend to study after class, okay? I, I learn to cook Italian food. I plan to celebrate my birthday. I promise to, uh, to work hard, okay? That's when we were referring to the infinitives. It's not that these words are going to have the infinitive. It's not that it's going to be to agree or to only or to hope. No, the words that go after these are the ones that are going to have infinitives. Is that okay, the difference between gerunds and infinitives? Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, this is only a small list. In reality, there are many, many, many words that only, very specific. Only agree, but hope, intend, it's just to learn, help us get started. plan, promise. Yeah. Either gerund or. Here are the ones that we talk about that it doesn't matter. You can say begin, continue, or like, and it's your decision. You can begin studying or you can begin to study. You can continue reading or you can continue to read. You can like dancing or you can like to dance. For these words, both forms are correct, and it doesn't change the meaning. Anybody have any comments or questions? Do we have a larger list of verbs that goes just with infinitives and with gerunds? You do. There is a huge, huge list. Um, you can check in Google just looking for uh, uh, words with gerunds or words with infinitives, and you're going to get maybe, I don't know, in, in total a couple thousand. So it's oh, really? yeah, 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 yeah. There's, okay. there's, because only for it goes for level, but let's say that mm, you probably know most of them, but you don't know that they go specifically with gerunds or infinitives. It's just that you use them. It's like okay. kind of, so we get used to using a lot of them with expressions, okay? So I, I start okay. to, and you, when just normal words, like when you use the word start or begin, whenever you use a verb, it has a rule, but you don't learn the rule. You just copy what the other people say. Okay. So, Yes, there's a big, a big list, but it's the reality is it's almost impossible to remember by the Jared, list. I want you to work on two previous activities. Number one, complete okay. the survey. Number two. Okay, here's a little small survey. Can you see this survey? Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. So this is a personality survey. It's just to get us to talk and to to speak with our partners. And if you can see. Almost all of the words in there have either an ing or an infinitive. Most of them here are with ing, right? So you can see mm -hmm. that this gives you a way without having to think about, oh, it has to be a gerund. Oh, it has to be an infinitive. Not necessarily, but here is the common way. If you are in the WhatsApp group, okay, um, in case... Uh, if you are already there, you can see the questions in the WhatsApp group also, okay? That way it'll help you. Tell us about yourself. Okay, the other part is, uh, okay. Box. Hang you on. may use this. Here are some other expressions that they mention, and the idea is, hmm. All of these friendly and outgoing, kind and generous, these are all ways to describe people. Mm -hmm. Are there any of these words that you don't know what they mean or any of these expressions that you're not sure how they're used? Uh, I have like an expression about neat and tidy. 
Okay. I know both they mean like clean. Right. The idea. Okay. The idea is neat is clean and tidy organized. So clean and organized. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other words? The other ones are okay? Yeah, we're okay. Oh, where is laid, laid back? Laid back, all right. Eric, can you help out? What is laid back? Laid back is, gives you the idea that it's like uh, someone who, who is relaxed. It, it is related to relaxed, actually. Laid back, it will be like... Ah, como echado para atrás, como relajado. <laughs> yeah, laid back is relaxed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, laid back, we consider it not exactly uh, the idea of the same idea that it is uh, laid back, that lazy, okay? It's just the person doesn't do a big effort. They take yeah. the, they take the easy things going. easily. Easy going, yeah. A little like bit easy going. A little bit different, but this is the idea. The difference is that easy going means that the person gets along well with other people. It's not like in Spanish when it says, ah, like it's easy going. No, the, the easy going is for relationships, not for actions. Okay. Mm -hmm. And laid back is the easy going for the actions. So laid back, ah, everything's cool. But easy going is between me and new people or between others, oh, I don't have any problems. I never fight with anyone. We have a good relationship. This is easy going. But for, yeah. but for activities, cleaning the house, washing dishes, doing my job, I'm laid back. I do it, but ah, slowly relax. Life is good. Mm -hmm. In short. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, we won't have enough time to do uh, the exercise. We just had enough time to get the video, but that's okay. It's our first day. The idea is to get to know each other and to start. Um, this is exercise 1.1 and 1.0 and 1.1. Um, as a partner mentioned, I think it was Eric that mentioned, um, the knowledge check 1.2 is talking about this, about using ING or using infinitive. It's only about making the sentence. So should the sentence be with ing? Should the sentence be with an infinitive? That's the idea that you're gonna to try to practice, okay? Okay. Okay, so where you try it and if not, if we have some difficulties, we'll take a look at it tomorrow, all right? Okay, that's nice. All right, guys, it's great to have you on your first day. I congratulate you in making the effort. I know it's not easy, especially at this time. So it's great to have you. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Okay, good, night. Good, good night. 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 Good